The south of France is unlike any other region I've ever visited, from the picturesque seaside towns of the French Riviera, to the romantic cobblestone streets of the Luberon villages, to the thriving food scenes of Aix-en-Provence and Toulouse, this place is tens, tens, tens across the board. And I think it might just be the most beautiful summer holiday destination hands down. I spent two weeks traveling the south of France last year along the coast from Nice and then inland towards Toulouse. So here are 12 of the most beautiful villages and cities to visit in this region and some cliff notes on what you should do while you're there. Hi there, my name is Jess. I'm a Kiwi who last year decided to change up her whole life, sell everything she owned and move from Auckland, New Zealand to London in the UK. In my spare time, I make videos about food and travel and all sort of these experiences in between and you can find much more of that over on my Instagram and TikTok. That's the spiel. Now let's talk about beautiful, charming, adorable French provincial villages. First on the list is Nice. This is a stunning beachside destination. It has a gorgeous little old town and then also one of the most iconic seaside promenades to walk along. We did four nights here, which I felt was kind of the perfect length to stay to get a taste of the city and then do a couple of day trips. Within Nice, there's so much to experience as well. One of my favorite parts was just kind of soaking up the atmosphere of the old town at twilight. And I also really enjoyed taking a food tour. We did ours with no diet club and I find this is a really good way to get your bearings in a new place but also learn about the history of the place through food. Brilliant. From Nice, we took a day trip to Ez, which is kind of like a charming little medieval village. It is perched on a hilltop, so it goes without saying, it has stunning views of the coast. Of all the small villages we visited, this was definitely worth the hype. It was filled with these sort of charming cobblestone streets. It had a really lovely, calming, artistic atmosphere to it. One thing to note about this day trip is that the transport here can get a little bit tricky. You can take a bus from Nice, which is helpful because it drops you closer to the village, but the buses are quite infrequent and they can get very, very busy. Your other option is to take a train to Ez Station, but you have to note that it's about a one hour hike uphill to get from the station to the actual village. So just keep that in mind. On the way back from Ez to Nice, our bus went past a seaside village called villefranche sur So we hopped off and spent the afternoon here. The colors of this town are just gorgeous and it very much had that relaxed French Riviera vibe. There is this whole sort of strip of restaurants along the waterfront. So you could definitely pull up a seat for a late lunch, enjoy some seafood, a spritz in the afternoon, sun and one thing to note bring your swimming costume a lot of people were really enjoying the beach here so we were kind of sad that we forgot to bring our costumes from Nice, we also took a day trip to the city of grass by train and this is where you're able to kind of see those beautiful sort of umbrella late noise i love the perfume history of this place and you get to explore that by going to the official perfume museum or you can go to one by the local perfume makers which is free and also they have a great shop there as well one thing we didn't do here, which I kind of regret, is a perfume tour. I think that would have been an amazing way to kind of get to know the history of the area and learn a lot more about the craft. We also went on a Sunday and we kind of found that most things were closed, which is typical of France. So just keep that in mind when you're planning your day trips. The train from Grasse back to Nice stops by the marina village of Antibes. So we hopped off here for the afternoon as well. We really enjoyed soaking up the atmosphere, visiting the markets and kind of exploring the winding little alleyways of the old town. You can also spend the day visiting the Picasso Museum here because he once lived and worked in Antibes or just kind of soaking up the rays at like the bunch of beaches nearby. Now here's the thing, whether or not you are ready to book a trip to the south of France, there is one thing you can do right now. And that is hit the like button. Okay, done, back to the cute villages. Marseille is a bustling port city with a really cool food and creative scene and we really enjoyed sort of eating our way around town, exploring the markets along the waterfront and then also just like wandering through I believe it's called the Le Panier district which was really unlike anything we'd seen in the rest of the south of France. And if you're looking for a spot of adventure you can also book a boat ride to this nearby national park where they have these incredible grand limestone cliffs to see and I believe there's also an option where you can get off the boat and kind of explore the waters and all these little hidden in this little natural wonderland. Aix-en-Provence was my favorite destination of 2022 and the most gorgeous city. It has an incredible food scene, all sorts of little cocktail and wine bars to explore, some lovely little sweet treat spots, and of course, brilliant like vintage and food farmers markets as well. It is also a great place to base yourself if you want to do day trips to other little villages in the Provence region. I really wish we had had a few extra days and hired a car so we could kind of do this at our own pace, but we were a bit short on time, so 
we opted to do a day trip instead so we didn't have to worry about driving and we got to kind of get a little bit of a taste of all these different villages around the local area. Lumeron was the first of the villages we visited on this day trip and it is this gorgeous little town nestled in the Luberon Valley. It has these charming little cobblestone laneways, these restaurants along the main street and then also gorgeous boutiques to explore as well and there's a castle here if you have time to see that too. The next stop on our trip was Roussillon which is a place known for its colourful red and ochre cliffs as well as like all these sort of narrow little streets in the village and it has some beautiful houses as well. Here you will find sort of cosy cafes, little markets, art shops, all those types of things to explore and if you have time make sure you take the walk along to the ochre cliffs and quarries but just one big tip here, don't wear white sneakers. Gorge was our final stop on this day trip and a lovely way to end our time exploring this region. It is a stunning hilltop town and you get a beautiful view of it as you drive up towards the village. Here you will find stone buildings, cobblestone streets, panoramic views of the Luberon Valley and another castle to explore as well. We spent one night in Arles which is a city known for its Roman ruins, sort of medieval architecture and a stunning art scene. It is also known as the city that inspired Van Gogh who sort of lived here and took inspiration from the provincial landscapes and the light in this region. You would just want to spend your time here wandering around and discovering these scenes that inspired his paintings and I highly recommend dining outside al fresco in the evenings soaking up the atmosphere at twilight it really is that beautiful last on the list it's Toulouse and this is known as the pink city due to its distinctive brick architecture it has a lovely historic center with again charming little alleyways and lovely little squares and beautiful architecture of course there is a fantastic food scene here we enjoyed a lot of sweet treats and some new takes on old favorites and we also did a little bit of vintage shopping here so definitely check that out as well there you have it those are 12 stunning destinations that deserve a spot on your summer bucket list and if you need a little bit more inspiration for your Europe trip, I have got you. Here is my guide to one of the most beautiful regions around, the Amalfi Coast in Naples. And I will see you in the next one, everyone. Bye.